care of this lab. As you can see, my desk is a mess. I took out everything I could find for today's craft. So what will we be doing? We are going to make talking pet portraits. Now, what is a portrait? A portrait is an artist's representation of a face. Right. This is Bruno. This is my doggy that I made earlier. I've got dogs, so I decided to make another doggy because they are my favorite, favorite pets. You can make a copy or a portrait of your own pet, or you can make a portrait of a friend's pet and send it to them as a gift. Um, what type of pet do you have? You can make a doggy or a cat or a horse or a pig. A friend of mine's got spiders, so you can do a spider or a lizard or even a unicorn or a teddy bear. Any type of pet portrait that you can think of. And please do send me your photos. I would love to see what you've made. And remember to add in their names. Okay, so what do you need? For the basic, basic items that you need. I'm just going to move Bruno. Basic items that you need, first off, is nice thick cardboard or art paper or card stock. This is an A3, which is the perfect, perfect size for this craft. If you don't have A3, you can take two A4s and just stick them together to make an A3. It doesn't have to be white. You can use brown or any color that you've got at home. Then you need a piece of string. And your piece of string should be about 80 centimeters long. So I've knotted it at the place where it is 80 centimeters. You also need a marker and a pencil. So this is the basics that you need to start. Um, I'm going to show you how to design your pet quickly and then we'll move on to decorating because decorating is my favorite part. But the decorating will depend on what you've got on hand and you can use anything you've got around the house. So we are going to start with our pet's face first. Now that is why we have the piece of string. For a portrait to be a portrait, you have to have um, a face in the center. Your face needs to be the focus point. So you need to have a nice big face in the center of your paper. So you're gonna take you're gonna take a piece of string, put it on your paper, and then just lay out a type of face. Don't just do a boring round face, you know, work it around with the shape a bit and see what you can come up with. Okay, so I'm gonna move this around. Maybe a bit bigger on top and smaller on the bottom. What do you think? Something like that. Oops, it is. Okay. And once you're happy with your shape, make sure it's nice in the center of your page. You can... Yeah. You're going to take your pencil and very carefully trace a line along the outside of your string and that will give you your face and the start of your pet portrait all around try not to move your string all the way around okay and voila you've got a nice big face Ah, you won't be able to see this. Okay, um, in the center of the page. If you've got time, um, you can start with pencil. I will recommend starting with pencil. But if you want to, you can take your marker and just wing it. You can really go for it um, and go crazy and just start designing. So I've started a little kitty cat earlier on. I've started designing it and getting my decorations together. So I'm just going to show you. This is a rough sketch of the base of my kitty cat. So now we get to the fun part, the decorations. So I'm quickly going to run through everything I've got here that I might use. I haven't decided yet. 
I've got, this is paper um, cupcake liners. I've got a smaller one and a bigger one. Um, as you can see, I've already drawn pupils in them for my kitty cat. Um, I might use them for eyes. If you've got different colors, even better. Um, if you've got white ones, you can paint them later on. I've got pom-poms that uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with later. Um, for the whiskers, I've got pipe cleaners and I've cut them into thirds. So I've got these lovely different shades of green pipe cleaners and they're lovely and bendy. That's why I think they would be perfect for whiskers. Okay, this is felt sheets. Um, as you can see, I don't throw away the scraps, I keep them. Um, this is EVA or foam sheets. Um, then I've got this is neon, just neon colored paper. And then I've got a whole stack of just plain colored paper. Um, I've got paint brushes, water, pastels. This is, um, this is actually party decor. It's big confetti, but um, I like to stick them on, onto my crafts because they are shiny and pretty. There you go, I've got different colors, so I might use that. Um, googly eyes, I've got a whole stack of googly eyes. So if you've got a spider, those will come in really, really handy. This is paper straws that I've cut up into pieces. I've got some of that. I've got my ever-present stickers. I always have my stickers. Uh, I've got different sizes. I've got the big ones and smaller ones. So I always have some colored stickers. Candy. Um, this is coffee. Because mommies need coffee. Um, glue stick. That is kind of important. Um, paint, this is tempera paint blocks. Um, you can use any water paint, craft paint, whatever you've got around the house. Paint brushes, some more paint brushes. Uh, for your scissors, whoops. And some string. <laughs> um, markers, colored markers. This is a stack of old magazines. Um, so I think what I'm going to do with the magazines oh, okay let me just show you before we start on the magazines let me show you i've already started designing my cat so from my foam sheet i've cut two ears and from the felt i've cut little nose to go on okay and to decorate my cat itself i'm going to go through the magazines and i'm going to find some colored paper um, and I think I want to do maybe a greenish cat or blue, something like that. So I'm going to find green and blue pieces of, of or pages and I'm going to tear them into little pieces, pieces and I'm going to collage um, my cat because I think that will be really cute. Let me just get Bruno quickly. Okay, let's go. Um, on Bruno, I've used purple paper, as you can see as a and i collaged it on um, on the bottom and on the top this is blue paint and the ears is um i used pastels to color in the ears and the nose and the mouth this is a bottle cap for an eye and on this side is a pool noodle that i've cut into little slices and on top of that, I've got half a polystyrene ball. Uh, this is raffia or packaging paper that I just cut into little thingies and stack them on top. Uh, and this is my neon paper that I made a little bow tie. Neon paper with stickers that I made a little bow tie of. So that is Bruno. So I think for my kitty cat, I'm going to find paper in, a new, uh, in the magazine. Cut them into little strips or tear them into little strips and then collage that on to my kitty cat as a basis. And then we will figure out the eyes later. I think for the eyes, I'm going to use, let's see if I can get them on here. I'm going to use my paper cup liners. I think 
that should be cute. And like that. And then I've got my purple ears. They will go on, on like that. So this for me is the fun part because you're going to take whatever bits and bobs you've got around the house and you're going to decorate your animal. So what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to finish my kitty cat. Then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to show you how to make them talk. All right, I will see you in a bit. Hi, welcome back. I've finished with my kitty cat. Let me show you quickly. Okay. Um, I've collaged on blue and yellow um, on my kitty cat. So it's a blue and yellow cat. This is a green pipe cleaner that I've got on there. It's got a nice shiny collar. Um, a white eye. I use the paper, um, the cupcake liner, the paper cupcake liner. Um, purple foam ears and red pom poms in the ear. Right. So my kitty cat doesn't have a name yet. So drop me a mail or a message um, if you've got a cute idea for a name. And as promised, now we're going to make our pets speak. So for this, you're going to need an app. Um, there's a couple of apps to download. I've used My Talking Pet. There's also on the iStore, there's Photo Speak that you can download. And it's really, really easy to use. All you do is you take a photo of your pet, upload it in the app, and you can make the eyes move and the mouth move um you record a message or you use one of their messages and you save it so this is such a cute idea if you've got a birthday if you've got a friend with a birthday coming up make a pet for them record a message and send it to them it's really really cute i've sent pets to my whole family this morning and they all thought it was really really funny i'm gonna drop the names i'm gonna try and get the links for the app and i'm gonna put them in the bio for this video and um, as usual, if you've got any questions or, questions or queries, please send me an email or WhatsApp anytime. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos and you have a lovely day. Bye-bye. I'm practically perfect in every way. Another day.